Will Russia launch a cyber attack on Ukraine? Welcome to The Red Couch, the web show about internet freedom and security. Russia has trained genius hackers to disable Ukrainians' communications infrastructure, but will they dare? Since Russia has advanced into Crimea, the cyber attacks between Russia and Ukraine have been pathetic. Ukraine's MPs have suffered a few problems with their mobile phones, which Ukraine blames on pro-Russian mischief-making. Plus, the Ukraine state news agency suffered a distributed denial-of-service attack, which paralyzed its computers, but only for a short time. Pro-Russians in Crimea cut telephone cables between the peninsula and the rest of Ukraine, but you can still use your mobile phone in Sebastopol. Meanwhile, UK-based BAE Systems Applied Intelligence has published a report on a new sophisticated cyber attack mechanism called Snake, which could come from Russia. Hey, are you Russian? No, no, I live in Canada. I am Canadian. Vi uvereni? Da, da, da. <coughs> oh, Canada, naš to mi rodna je zemlja. Snake buries itself in a computer and then finds vulnerabilities in the local network, spreading itself like a virus. <laughs> it can act as a form of reconnaissance, as a form of attack, and can take over computers. Snake's reported activity has boomed this year, especially in Ukraine, and also on key US allies like Lithuania, Georgia, and Romania. But details of victims are still a bit sketchy. So far, Russia's strategy is censorship, surveillance, a targeting of the Ukrainian elite, and a widening of the divide between Crimea and the rest of Ukraine. But these are only minor skirmishes. The Ukrainian people are not affected. But the threat still persists. <laughs> Cyber analyst Jeffrey Carr told The Red Couch that Russia could cripple Ukraine's entire communication and information infrastructure. Such an action would be seen by the world as an illegal provocation. Coupled with the danger of Russian military intervention, this could be seen as a declaration of war and cyber war is now real. If you attack with the click of a mouse, someone can respond with bombs. In the past, Russia has been suspected of cyber attacks on countries, such as in Estonia in 2007, after the government decided to relocate a war memorial commemorating Russian soldiers. The Baltic state received a flood of attacks against government websites and the general population crippling the country's internet infrastructure for weeks. But Russia did not take responsibility. Instead, it blamed patriotic hackers. You have to look out for this. It may be possible that there is a cyber attack in Ukraine. Russia denies it has anything to do with them and instead claims it's the work of sympathizers of the Russian soul. Meanwhile, pro-Western hackers have been targeting Russia. Hackers broke into the website of the Russian state-run English language news agency Russia Today and changed the headlines, replacing the words Russia, Russians and military with Nazi. Putin, Nazi citizens, troops threatened in Ukraine, need armed forces protection. Thousands rally against illegitimate government, raise Nazi flags in eastern Ukraine. Russian senators vote to use stabilizing Nazi forces on Ukrainian territory. Meanwhile, Anonymous has announced the hashtag OpRussia in support of Ukraine. Anonymous is defacing hundreds of Russian websites. Suddenly, the interests of the most persecuted underground network in America are allying with those of the US state. Leaks are also emerging in Russia against Putin. A Russian hacking group has released thousands of documents disclosing military deals between India and Russia for the sale and upkeep of fighter planes. 
the so-called Russian Cyber Command is starting a cyber war on Russian military enterprises. Eventually, we shall deliver critical infrastructure companies on which Russian Putin's empire, fucked in the head, stands on. This is real. No bullcrap. No playing dumbass games with this lunatic regime. Russia has to be free from lunatics. It's hard to know who are the Russian provocateurs trying to prove that Russia is a victim of Western hackers. And who are the Ukrainian provocateurs trying to prove that Ukraine is a victim of Russian hackers. Who are the state hackers and who are the rogue hackers? Who are the rogue hackers now working for the state and who are the state hackers now going rogue? Is Ukraine attacking Russia or is Russia attacking Russia? Is Russia attacking Ukraine or is Ukraine attacking Ukraine? In the virtual world, it's very hard to know who is behind a cyber attack. If you factor into this disinformation campaigns from the spy agencies of Europe, America, Ukraine and Russia, clouded by the fog of war, we come to the hopeless truth that online no one knows anything. It's all bullcrap. Is it okay having a snake singing the Canadian anthem, national anthem in Russian? Is that okay? Ochi tjorni, ochi grusni, ochi strasni, i prokrasni, kak ljubljo jo vas. Milion, 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 alikros. The Red Couch is brought to you by CyberGhost 5, a virtual private network that gives you anonymity online and allows you to surf the web securely.